time when Pakistan was considered one of the fastest growing countries in Asia in the 60s. And we heard that China learned a bit from Pakistan. And now is the time for Pakistan to learn from China. Uh, personally, the thing that inspires me most about China, what inspires me most about China is the way they have lifted 700 million people out of poverty in 30 years. This has never happened in human history. And for someone who cares about humanity, I think this is an example which the entire world can follow and learn from China. So, for me, uh, this is the, the most important thing Pakistan can learn. The way China has lifted people out of poverty. And what I have understood so far, China allowed their businesses to make money. China concentrated on their special economic zones, their export zones. They brought in investment from outside. They created wealth. And from that wealth creation, they spent it on the less privileged, poor section of the society. And that's how they've achieved the, the miracle. And that's what we intend to do in Pakistan. Uh, the other thing I've learned from China is the way China has tackled corruption. President Xi Jinping's, one of his biggest crusade has been against corruption. And from what I hear, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that some 400 people, uh, ministerial level people in the last five years have been uh, convicted on corruption and put behind jail. Um, and then, you know, I read in the papers, now I don't know whether it is true, that there was a Chinese mayor who, who tons of gold was found in his room. And within five days he was convicted. So, why is this very important for not just Pakistan, but most of the developing world to learn from? Because the most important thing is, if you have corruption, it stops investment. Corruption is one of the biggest impediments in investment coming into your country. The reason, one of the main reasons why we have not been able to, to uh, develop this great potential of Pakistan has been the fact that red tapism, and red tapism is also because of corruption. When you slow down, by slowing down procedures through red tape, it is a way of getting speed money, corruption money. And corruption, when firms have an opportunity of, they can invest anywhere in the world, they will always invest in economies that are cleaner. Economies where there are less impediments in the way of investment. So I wish I could follow President Xi's example and put 500 corrupt people in Pakistan in jail. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have a very cumbersome process, and so we hope uh, in time we will improve it. Uh, but I do believe that this is uh, something also, the way China has gone ahead, the way they have learned from their experiences. I, I went to the Chinese Communist Party, and they explained to me the process of meritocracy, how everything is analyzed how there's a constant think tank, thinking of how to improve themselves. So this is uh, remarkable about the way you, uh, China has gone ahead and, and looks like it will leave all the countries behind uh, within the next decade. Uh, now Pakistan, since my government has come into power, we have taken a conscious decision that we will make it easier and easier for investment, investors to come into Pakistan and we will want them to make profits in Pakistan. We will encourage profitability. Uh, we had uh, a, a mindset where uh, businesses, when they started making profit, 
there was uh, some sort of an envy in our system, in our bureaucracy, amongst our politicians, and they would somehow want to pull them down. This government is the first government since 1960s which is encouraging businesses now, which wants them to make profits in Pakistan, which wants them to get rich in Pakistan. And my, the Prime Minister's office, Prime Minister's office is driving this, uh, uh, the opportunities for people to invest in our country. The ease of doing business is driven from the Prime Minister's office. Now we have just formed a CPEC authority because we were having problems in CPEC projects because they were under a lot of different ministries. Now we have decided that there will be one authority which will resolve all the problems of CPEC. And that authority will be the Prime Minister office so that it can, uh, we, my office can make it easier for people investing in Pakistan, people from China investing in Pakistan. Uh, I'm pleased to say that we have done a few things, which I will tell you. We have, uh, in Gwadar port and phase one of Gwadar free zone, that has been completed. <clears throat> and Gwadar airport will soon be completed. Work has started on it. Gwadar, Gwadar as you know, is the, is the port, the, one of the... Uh, 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 the whole idea of CPAC initially was to connect China to the Indian Ocean and to the Gwadar port. So we have also now, Gwadar's smart port city master plan has been improved finally. It took us time. Concessions for Gwadar port and free zone have been improved, approved. Issues of tariff and pending payments on energy proje projects have been resolved. In the phase two of CPAC, our cooperation will focus on industrial cooperation, agriculture, very important agriculture. Pakistan has one of the most fertile lands, but unfortunately one of the lowest productivities. And that's what we hope to uh, learn from the Chinese experience of your high productivity, seed development, uh, in water management, in fisheries especially. So that is the next uh, um, emphasis and why j just as my commerce minister said why should people invest in Pakistan so there are five reasons which I want to again repeat Pakistan's strategic location Pakistan is one of the most strategic located places in the world number two we have a population of 220 million people and unlike China Pakistan's 60% of Pakistanis are below the age of 30. One of the youngest populations, which, is, which means a vibrant uh, population, a young, vibrant population, labor force. And then we have started this economic revival through reforms. You will be uh, uh, pleased to know, those who want to invest in Pakistan, that in the ease of doing business, Pakistan has made the biggest strides. We have gone up the greatest number in the whole of uh, South Asia. And overall in the world, we are number eight in a country that has made the greatest advances in ease of doing business. And then, of course, the industrial clusters through special economic zones. We are working on them. Some have moved ahead. Others are a little bit slow, but we are now specially concentrating on our special economic zones. And where do we want Chinese investment? We would love them. We would want Chinese investors to come. I met this morning very, very powerful Chinese investors, some already there and some who want to expand their investment. So I've met them. And I must say, I was very happy this morning with the quality of investors we have. So we, we will facilitate them. But the sectors we want Chinese investment is number one textile, because Pakistan is one of the uh, biggest producers of cotton. Manufacturing, IT and financial services, we would like your people to come and help us 